Hello, this is Cobalt Cobalt, and this audio is a direct continuation of a previous video and will make very little sense unless you have listened to the previous video, which is also part of a full series that I recommend you watch. Just my recommendation though, if you really want no context, be my guest. Anyway, on with the audio. This is bad. Very bad. He's looking over here. Quick, hide! Now, you may be wondering... How did he find us? Wasn't everything meant to be secret? We took every precaution. Well, you certainly tried, and none of you are nearly as intelligent as you think you are. Once I found out there was a wedding, all I had to do was trace it back to all of you. Mass surveillance and a few well-placed bribes later, I had replaced all of your hired staff with minions loyal to me. From there, it was even easier to confiscate and dismantle your equipment, rendering the majority of you useless. No, all of the equipment is broken. He and his henchmen are going to be the only ones in the building with any firepower. The regular authorities won't be able to do anything. And to top it all off, a little special vintage laced with nanomachines designed to incapacitate you all from within. At the press of a button, you will all be put out of action for a very long time. Is that a remote control? If we could get to it and shut it off, then maybe... No, there are far too many guards, and we have no idea what he's capable of. But of course, the question remains. How did I find myself attending your little soiree? Well, I had the help of an unwilling participant. You've all seen the little whelp who likes to call himself a supervillain, running around planning grand schemes only for them to fail spectacularly every time. I would say he plays pretend, but I really do think that he genuinely tries. He's so incapable that he was invited to a gathering of the world's protectors. He's that little of a threat. I... They don't all fail spectacularly. Well, it seems his assistant had grown tired of his buffoonery and came crawling to me, offering their assistance. Of course, I didn't need nor want anything they could offer, so I sent them on their way with a little recording bug. Wait, what? I'm not so egotistical as to turn down an opportunity, and wouldn't you know it, they both led me right to you all. Ironic. The worst thing he has ever done, and it wasn't even intentional. So, if you would like to thank your accidental traitors, please give them the credit they deserve. They're right over... Where are they? What do you mean you haven't seen them? How on earth do you let this happen? You were given specific orders to lock everyone down. Spread out and find them. Any errant variables could ruin the whole operation. Did you really? No, we can't stay here. We need to move. Follow me. Here we go. The garden is large enough to hide in. There's lots of plants that can cover us as well. We just need to stay out of sight and... think. Oh, what do we do? No, we can't get help. Anyone capable of helping would be part of the Allegiance, and they are all trapped in the event hall. Besides, this place is crawling with his henchmen. We couldn't leave to go get help even if there was any. Oh, what have I done? This is all my fault. How could I let this happen? No, it is. I got too caught up with the planning and celebrations that I didn't even think that someone would be spying on us. If I wasn't here, then none of this would have happened. What was I thinking? Everything I do goes badly. It always does. I try, and I try, but every time it all blows up in my face, and this time I've gotten everyone else caught up in this. Why did I ever think I could do anything? I'm just a screw-up. I'm a failure. 
I always have been, and I always will be. <laughs> no! I'm not. I just... I just don't know what to do. If we leave, we get caught and something horrible happens to us. If we stay, then something horrible happens to everyone. You're right, we need to do something, but I can't. And you... Oh, not again. Uh, quick, hide. <laughs> uh, uh, how could they kick me out? I was doing a good thing. They should be thanking me. He was obviously planning to ruin the wedding. What's he doing here? Someone's coming. He's going to get us spotted. Grab him! <coughs> Quiet, please! You're going to get us all captured! <coughs> Thank you. What are you doing? Shouldn't you both be at the party instead of harassing me? You've both already ruined my life! Aren't you happy with that? Tell him. What? I knew it! I knew you were up to something! Calm down, it wasn't me! Do you really think I would be hiding from the henchman if I was on his side? Hmm, I suppose not. What did you say his name was? I don't know. He said his name was Elmo or something like that. Uh, Elwood Row? Yeah, that's it. He's an Omega-level threat! If he's trying to destroy the Allegiance, it's a threat to global stability! We're aware. That's why- Defeating him would be a perfect way for me to show my worth to the Allegiance! They would have to reinstate my license! Or maybe even promote me! What? Yeah, I'm in agreement. That is a terrible idea. And what do you mean, reinstate? Oh, uh, um, well, after they dragged me off for attempting to thwart you, they said it was my third strike. They took away my hero license and kicked me out of the Allegiance. All thanks to you. I... And after I was the only one doing the right thing. I was the one who attempted to cease your scheme. I didn't... <laughs> hey, hey, put him down, please. This is all your fault! No, it isn't. Not this, at least. You're the one who approached me. I tried to de-escalate the situation, and you kept on pushing. You are the one who made a scene, and you are the one who attacked me without provocation. You may not like me, but your actions got you kicked out, and you need to take responsibility. But, I, uh... You are... I know... I just... I always wanted to be part of the Allegiance. To be a hero! When I joined, I was so proud of myself, but everyone else was so much better than me! There are aliens and wizards and robots with laser eyes! And then there was me! I'm just a guy who likes cricket! I wanted to prove to everyone that I could be a hero, just like them! I get that. I do. I'm sorry for attacking you. It's fine. Nothing permanent. All right! What's the plan? What? The plan! To take down Elwood! I hadn't thought of one. I mean, we're just three people. I don't know what we could do. What? Why me? My plans never go well. They're right! We have to do something, and you're the leader. Don't you have some kind of destructinator or space laserinator that we could use? What? No, of course I don't. That's ridiculous. Hmm. 
So all we have is my cricket bat to use then. Yeah, we did bring some weapons, but they're all stored away in the check-in area with the rest of the hero's equipment. And Elwood said he had dismantled all of them. Well, let's go and remantle them! That's not... Good point. We do need some firepower if we're going to do anything. If we can make our way to the check-in without being seen, then we can see if anything can be salvaged and form a plan from there. Alright, I'm going to follow you. You're better at being sneaky than I am. You take the lead, and I'll follow. I'll make my own way there. If we move as two smaller groups, we are less likely to all be caught. Okay, we'll meet you there. Almost there. Just around this corner and we'll be at the check-in desk. What? No! There's a guard just outside the door! Are there any other entrances? Maybe we could try a vent or something. But I can't- Oi! You both! Stay where you are! Biscuits! I take it you two are the ones Mr. Rowe said about. Don't try anything or I'll knock you both into next Tuesday. Got me a top-of-the-line stun baton and I am not afraid to use it. So you two are gonna come quietly or I'll- uh, Are you okay? Shut up! Uh, just my back acting up. Uh. I agree, that seems really painful. Why are they making you work like this? No doctor's note. No paid time off. Company policy. Well, have you seen a doctor? No, I can't afford one. Now, stop distracting me and get over! <laughs> Whoa! Good catch. Uh, set him down gently, okay? You better not try nothing. I just need a minute. I mean, yeah, we could just go, but I kind of feel bad for him. Hey, so can you not afford healthcare? Doesn't being a henchman come with that contractually? It, it feels like it should, right? Nah. Besides, I ain't a henchman. My job title is Minion. That's awfully degrading. Yeah. But it pays the bills sometimes. Sometimes? Do you guys have a union? Fair enough, dumb question. My assistant's right. I do offer healthcare for a henchman position. And dental as well. Really? Of course. You're putting yourself in harmful situations instead of me. It's the bare minimum. Huh. I never thought about it that way. How about this? I'll give you my card if you look the other way for a few minutes. Then if things go poorly with Mr. Rowe, then you can give us a call, okay? Yeah. That sounds good. <sighs> I'll just head down the corridor and you can head on in. Well, good luck, and thanks for the- <gasps> uh... uh... Don't worry, I got him. Let's get inside. You didn't have to... Uh, never mind. Help me drag him in, please. Well, here we are at check-in. Probably the largest collection of hero weaponry in the country at the moment. Captain, can you please keep watch of the area to make sure that no one else drops in on us while we search? Alrighty. Nothing will escape the antenna of my cricket squadron. Okay. We'll get to looking. This place is so poorly organized it'll take ages to find my weapons. I'll have to look over the other gear and see if I can find a way to reactivate it. So, was he telling the truth about you wanting to join his team? Alright. 
It's nothing. It's just... If you wanted to work for him, you could. You have every right to want career progression, and this man is clearly very good at what he does. I would be surprised if the thought hadn't at least crossed your mind. Yes, I'm just saying, if you found somewhere you would prefer to be, then you're allowed to leave. I know you like working with me, but being able to change jobs should be a foundational aspect of our economy. If you would be happy elsewhere, then you have every right to- Well, yeah, it would suck. I like having you around. You're not just an employee. You're an integral part of our work. And I like to think of you as my friend. But I could manage. I wouldn't want you to sacrifice a huge opportunity to protect my feelings. Thank you. Just... Bear in mind, you should do what's best for you. How did you and him end up crossing paths, anyway? He what? He must have put a bug or a tracker on you at the diner. He threatened you? Why that no good, lousy, rotten- He is going to get what's coming to him. Or at least he would if I could figure out how to get any of this equipment working. You're right, head in the game, head in the game. People are counting on you. Also, have you found our weapons bag yet? It should be in here. What do you mean it's right next to me? That's not navy. That's very, very dark blue. Oh, no. Oh, tartar sauce! I told you to bring the navy bag! This is my work bag, not the weapons bag! Ugh. No, you're right. I checked it in, and I didn't notice either. This is on me. Sorry for yelling. Well, this truly means we're screwed. We can't fight back if we don't have any weapons. All that's in here are notebooks and test tubes. Though there is one sample of the apathy virus in here, but it's still in a petri dish. Besides, that's not going to do anything. I know we can't give up, but everything is so stacked against us. We're outnumbered, outgunned, and outmaneuvered. All we have is the stuff that's in that bag, a cricket-obsessed guy, and us. Well, that and whatever's in all of these handbags, but call me crazy, I don't think that lipstick and concealer are going to help that much. What's this? <laughs> Minty breath freshener. Oh, wow, that is awful. How old is that? <coughs> Wait a minute. I think I have an idea. But it's going to require all of us to work together. And I need you to trust me. Okay, good. It's going to be dangerous, though. So if something does go wrong... It's been an honour to work with you. Okay, here's the plan. What is taking them so long? They aren't important, but the fact that they haven't been found yet is... You two. The minion assigned to check-in hasn't reported in recently. Go ensure the equipment is still contained. I can't afford to leave any witnesses. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Long time no see, for you at least. Around the clock surveillance means I know everything I could need to know about you. 
So what have you bravely come here alone to do? Are you going to grovel, beg for me to let you go? Or are you going to turn traitor? Try to join the winning team before this all blows over? Or maybe even, perhaps, try to talk me down? Appeal to my goodness in my heart? If so, I wouldn't bother. There was never any to begin with. How very interesting. Honestly, I expected better from you. Not particularly sure why, though. I suppose I should thank you in person. Without you, none of this would have been possible. So try to take some solace in the fact that you were unwittingly necessary in my triumphant rise. Unfortunately, there isn't going to be a place for you in my new world, so I would recommend that you- Aha! Is that breath freshener? Uh... Yes? So, let me get this straight. You have had however long you needed to come up with a plan to defeat me. And you decided the best way to do this was to... Spray something minty into my eyes. Well... I mean, a little. What exactly were you expecting from this? Um, honestly, I was hoping for something more than this. Uh, a fittingly embarrassing end, I suppose. Minion sees the assistant. Hey, you let go of- <coughs> Oh, shut up, you're giving me a headache. Is this really the best you could do? I understand you aren't exactly competent, but this wasn't even pathetic. Yeah, well- <coughs> That question was rhetorical. The fact that you are still trying to retort speaks volumes about you. You really don't know when you're beat. Despite everything, every attempt to make something of yourself has failed. It's simultaneously fascinating and abhorrent. At any point you should have given up. Somehow, you are still so stubborn. How does it feel living as a failure? It's not about success. It's about waking up every morning and trying your best, surrounded by those who- I'm not done talking. Your existence is an affront to the profession of villain, and you aren't even content with your own failure. You insist on dragging anyone around down with you. Look around. All of this is partially your fault. All of these heroes, your friends and your lackey, put in danger due to your failures. You attract failure like flies to manure and consume any potential of those around you. They aren't my lackey. They're my assistant. You can't even stand, let alone engage in witty repartee. Look at them. I said look at them. They had potential, a spark for something greater than what they could have been, and you have squandered and doused any hope of their achievements. You are a detriment to those around you, and they would all be better off without you. You failed. You always have failed, and always will. You will amount to nothing, not even a footnote in history. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't make an example of you in front of all these people, right here, right now. It's not worth it. It's too much effort. Excuse me, what? That's ridiculous. This isn't a question of effort. I have the means, the opportunity, and the motivation. Dealing with you would be easy. So why haven't you done it? I can, and I will. It's just not worth it right now. I've got other things to do. All of these heroes need dealing. Well, I could take all of the armory, or I... 
Uh, uh, I can't be bothered. I mean, what do I even get out of this? I already have money. Why do I need any of this? <laughs> do you not have any specific plans for after this? I had some ideas, but nothing concrete. World domination and all that. Yeah, I get that. But now, what would I even do with that? It's just more work for me. I mean, power, I guess, but still. Do you even want that kind of power? And responsibility. I... I'm the world's most dangerous man. It feels like I should want that. Hey, it's okay to not want things that other people do. I get that there's a bunch of pressure for us to want certain things, but at the end of the day, if we don't want something, it's bad for everyone to force ourselves into that mould. I guess you're right. How did you even become a villain, anyway? Eh, uh, it's weird. I kind of just fell into it. My father was a businessman, all of his assets got passed on to me. I had a company to run, and people relied on me. The investors needed more growth, so I did what I had to do. I guess it just spiralled out from there more than anything else. You must have had something in your mind before all of that. Some kind of dream. I did, but... But... It's dumb. Hey now, it doesn't matter if it's dumb. It's still important to you. That's what makes it special. Well, I guess I always wanted to be a figure skater. Really? See, it is dumb. No, 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 I think that's great! If you want that, then you should go for it! It's exercise, artistically expressive, and I think, with some hard work and dedication, I'm sure you would be great at it. Really? Yes, of course! I believe in you! Look at how well something you didn't care for went. Just believe in yourself and go for it. All right. I'll do it. Thank you for your support. I admit, I was wrong about you. Soon I'll be on ice all around the world. I'm sure you will, but remember, it's going to be tough. You're going to have to work hard. It'll be worth it, though. And I'll be watching, okay? Go make yourself proud. I will. Now. I should get going before... The nanobots! My remote! Look, I'm sorry with what happened earlier. I've had a change of heart. This was all some big misunder- Good job, everyone! The plan worked perfectly! You distracted him long enough for my cricket army to steal the remote right out of his pocket. All it took was a few minutes of me figuring out how it worked, and everyone was freed. Good job to both of you. Though, being honest, I was hoping the apathy virus and the breath spray would kick in sooner. Maybe halfway through the beating? Ow! I'm fine. It's just my bones. Nothing some rest won't heal. Also, what was that you said about vanilla? Well, I guess that's it. Also, don't expect me to be this friendly next time we cross paths. We are still enemies. I'll bear that in mind. Now, I'm off to go get a whack in on that Elwood. I can't let the others have all the fun now, can I? I don't know if I should be concerned or happy for him. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, I think we should probably head back now. I've had enough excitement for one day, and I'm feeling awfully dizzy. Can you drive? Okay. Good. Hey, I don't need help. I can walk fine. Maybe just stay close though, just in case. Hey. All that stuff I said before, about you moving on to a different job. No, no, I know you aren't. I 
wanted you to know that if such an opportunity arises, you don't have to feel guilty about taking it. I'm not sleepy. I'm just going to rest my eyes for a bit. Okay? You know you're my best friend, right? Okay, good. And we're still gonna do villain stuff together, okay? It's just you and me against the world. <laughs>